What's up, guys? Uh, this is probably the first video where I'm, you know, talking to a camera. Because I haven't done this. Uh, I've actually never done this. Maybe I have. You can check my history. But yeah, this is one. This is the first video I'm talking to the camera. We should. I should come up with a name for my audience, but I'm not sure. But today I'll talk about, um, you know, my new guitar right here. Look at that. Isn't she a beauty? Look at that. It's a. Uh, it's pearl inlay. Like you know those dragon. And Asian table and stuff like that. I got that done on my guitar. I got this made in Vietnam uh, from uh, a guy named Huang, and the shop name is uh, Dai Yun. I'm not sure. It doesn't have a website, but he's the best uh, luthier in Vietnam. So, uh, and what makes this guitar special besides the fucking dragon inlays on the fucking body and the the neck is that uh, it has a special Vietnamese fretboard and. I'm pretty sure most of you aren't, actually no, but if you don't play Vietnamese music, you don't know about this fucking fretboard, yeah, because this fretboard, you know what scalloping is, right, you know, you do it with the neck, but this is fucking, fucking mega scalp, look at that, look at that scalloping, I can shove my pinky, which fret is it, which fret is this aiming at, I can shove my pinky right through that, that's fucking mega scallops, and you may be thinking, why is this so fucking deep, well, you know, you gotta be culturally aware because in Vietnam they don't play fucking rock music. They play uh, Gai Lung music, and in, tr in the traditional Vietnamese instruments, the the frets they're fucking high as shit. They're like about I don't know I don't know how high they are, but they're really high, and it creates a valley, a really deep valley in between each fret. And the way you bend in Vietnamese music instead of bending like like that in western style music is that you actually you just push it down and it bends the string for you and uh yeah that's how you play Vietnamese music and you may be thinking that's impossible because the string is so tight and that's actually impossible for western music mm -hmm. uh, I'll try now see like I'm gonna try to bend this string here it doesn't really go down but in, in Gai Lung music it's uh slack it's really slack this this is tuned to a a low D, not a high D, but a lower D, uh, octave lower, and it just presses a lot, it's easier to press in, and yeah, it's crazy how much you can press in, it's pretty much you can press all the way there, and that's why it's mega scalloped in Vietnamese music, and, uh, you may be thinking, uh, like, like, you know, why scallop necks, what makes a scallop neck special, right, what makes a neck that is scalloped so special from a regular neck with non scallop frets. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You play Vietnamese music, it's freaking awesome because it doesn't know all that wow 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 shit, you know? You know it's like wow 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 Yeah, just that's kinda crazy stuff. But also, if you don't play Asian music, uh what it does is that it makes you feel like you're fucking what's his name? Ying Ying Wee Melstein. Yeah dude. You can also play with the fucking scallop fretboard, and you wanna know why? Because you play super fucking fast on it. Like my style, my style isn't really a fast style. When I play this guitar, I feel like I play really fast. You know? Okay, that wasn't really fast. I can't play fast still, but it feels like you're playing on air, dude, because you're not touching a fucking fret. It feels like you're play you're playing, you're you're touching the air, man. Like you're touching the air. It's really. It's really, it just gives you the, the ultimate air, you know, it's not, it sounds like a basketball shoe commercial, but you get the ultimate grip, because it's just you and the string, just you and the string, brother, and you, if you slide, you touch the frets too, but, yeah, and uh, if you're wondering on getting a Scala fretboard, just think of this, do I like to bend, do I like to slide, if the, and do I like to play fast, if the answer is yes, I would recommend a scallop fretboard because when it's scalloped, bending is easier, sliding is easier, and you play fucking fast. I don't know why you play fucking fast. It just feels like it feels like a lightning neck. They shouldn't call it scallop, dude. They should call it fucking a, a faster kind of uh, sea creature, you know, like swordfish fret. I'm not sure. But still, yeah, that's my thought on a scallop fretboard. And I just, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk today, because, you know, who doesn't want to talk to people sometimes, right? So, 
yeah, I'm kind of sick too. But yeah, have a good day. Yeah, have a good day, man. I'll call you. I, we gotta think of a name for you guys later. But yeah, this is Scott of Fitboard, and I'll look at my guitar one more time. This is what you call a Vietnamese guitar. All guitars in Vietnam look like this. Well, not all of them, but the special ones do. So if you want, I got this made in Vietnam, and you know it's not that expensive. So if you want to know any more information, just uh, comment below about Vietnamese guitars, and I will hook you up, man. Right? I'll just tell you what to do, and bam, it's hooked up. And yeah, Vietnamese guitars for the win. Everyone says, oh yeah, I love, I love Gibson, I love Fender, I love uh, Ibanez, you know, but damn, th that shit has no character, you know? Because they all look the fucking same, and I have a Japanese Fender, yeah? But uh, yeah, Vietnamese guitars, man, they have so much character in them. Because the fucking luthiers make everything handmade, you know? They bought, like, the bridge and stuff, you know, that's... They bought that, but... He made these pickups, you know? He made the actual fret, the wood. He made the neck. The, he didn't make the tuning heads, but yeah, most of it... Most of the body is handmade, and you can tell when you play it, it has a lot of soul in it. It really bites. But yeah. I was kind of overextended, but... Peace out, uh, Grandmaster followers. I don't know. Bye.